Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Manchester United have appointed Eric Ten Hag as their new manager. Eric Ten Hag will replace Ralph Rangnick in the summer. Ten Hag has signed a three-year contract with an option of a further 12 months. Manchester United have paid the compensation for Ten Hag. It is below 2 million. Ten Hag will get a 200 million transfer budget for this summer. There's quite a few players that Ten Hag wants at Manchester United. Ten Hag's new assistant at Man United is Mitchell van der Gag. There's talks of Steve McLaren becoming Eric Ten Hag's number two at Man United and Ten Hag has said he wants to bring Robin Van Persie back to Old Trafford as part of his backroom staff. It's going to be good to see Ten Hag experience the Premier League. He's not yet managed in the Premier League. He's done really well at Ajax. At Ajax, he's won some Dutch Cups. He's won a couple of Eredivisie titles. Got them to a final this season, but Ajax lost the final to PSV 2-1. And back in 2019, Ten Hag got Ajax to the Champions League semi-finals. Ten Hag got appointed in as the Ajax manager back in December 2017. He's been the Ajax manager for over four years. His contract at Ajax was due to expire next year. Um, he's the former Utrecht by Munich Reserves and Go Ahead Eagles manager. Ten Hag is Manchester United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. Manchester United have sat four permanent managers since Ferguson. Manchester United sat David Moyes after 10 months. Manchester United finished seventh under the David Moyes era. Lowest we've finished in the Premier League era. Then Man United sat Louis van Gaal after two years. Man United did win the FA Cup under him. And then Man United sacked Jose Mourinho after two and a half years. He did enjoy one good season at Man United because he won three trophies in his first season. But the reasons it didn't work out under him is because he had bad disputes with the board and bad disputes with the top players. And last year, Manchester United sacked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer after almost three years in charge. <coughs> So there you go. Uh, Ralph Rangnick, he's Man United's interim manager until the end of the season. Then he's expected to take up a consultancy role for a further two years. Rangnick's been in charge of Man United for around four months now. Earlier on this season, it said... If Rangnick begins a consultancy role, he will only work six days a month. Earlier on this season, uh, the Austrian FA denied making an approach for Ralf Rangnick. Prior to that, he said that the Austrian FA wanted Rangnick as their new manager. Apparently, Peter Schottel flew to Manchester and held talks with Ralf Rangnick.
Uh, Rangnick has endured one transfer window at Manchester United and unfortunately he didn't get backed in the January transfer window this year. Before Man United, he was the head of sports and development at Lokomotiv Moscow. Um, he's made changes since he came in because revert back to earlier on this season. Rangnick recommended Ewan Sharpin as an assistant coach and analyst. He also recommended Chris Armisen as an assistant coach and he recommended Saz Chalenzin as a sports psychologist. Uh, Rangnick said after the 4-0 loss to Liverpool that the defeat was humiliating and he said Liverpool are like six years ahead of Manchester United. Earlier on this season Rangnick said his aim for this season is to, for Man United to finish in the top four. Top four is unlikely now for Man United. Manchester United have not won a trophy for five years. That's nowhere near good enough to our standards. Man United have only won four trophies in the last ten years. The last time Man United won the Premier League was back in 2013. That's almost ten years ago. Man United have won 20 titles. 13 of them are Premier League titles. Uh, Man United have spent a lot of money in the last 10 years or so. Man United have spent over $1.3 billion. Manchester United have not been the same team since Ferguson retired and a lot of United fans predicted it was all going to go wrong when Ferguson retired, which obviously it has done. We've got to accept that no one is going to replicate what Ferguson did at the club. Alex Ferguson, greatest manager of all time. When he was Man United manager, he won 30-odd trophies, including 13 Premier League titles. But he didn't settle in straight away with Ferguson because he didn't win out in his first four years at Man United. Alex Ferguson was the Manchester United manager for around 26, 27 years. So reflecting on that, he was a long-serving manager. Ferguson retired almost 10 years ago now. Um, I hate the way the football club has been run for a long time. We've got to get the Glazers out of the football club because they've been one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time. Uh, prior to the Norwich game at Old Trafford, United fans protested against the Glazers, but it was a small and peaceful protest. Uh, towards the end of last season, United fans protested against the Glazers. Because at that point, the Glazers were planning to scrap the Champions League for that European Super League. The Glazers have owned Manchester United for 17 years. They purchased the club for £500 million back in 2005. Um, it's said earlier on this season that the Glazers are planning to demolish Old Trafford as Man United looked to upgrade the stadium. Uh, Man United have played in the same stadium for 112 years. Uh, but this summer, Man United will make signings. Uh, there will be a lot of outgoings this summer. I reckon around 12 players are going to be leaving. So this summer, I reckon Edison Cavani will leave. Cavani's out of contract at Man United this summer. Man United got Cavani on a free transfer from PSG. Back in the summer of 2020. Cavani's had a lot of good games as a United player. He's not available at the moment. He's out with injury. He's had a few injuries since he came to the club. Last time I read up, um, I heard Cavani is close to agreeing to move to Real Sociedad. He held talks with Real Sociedad. Lingard, I'm expecting him to leave Manchester United this summer. But now I've been hearing he won't be leaving Man United. Lingard should have left Man United in January this year, but we blocked his exit. Lingard has been part of the club for a long time. He came up our academy in that, but doesn't get in the team much. He did start, or should I say, he came on 
in the game against Liverpool at Anfield. Uh, the second half of last season, Lingard endured a four-month loan spell with West Ham. Juan Mata, um, I'm expecting him to leave this summer. He's out of contract this summer. Mata's had a good career at Man United. He's been at Man United for around eight years, reflecting on that he's been a long-serving player. Man United got Mata from Chelsea back in 2014 for 37.1 million. Marcus Rashford, he could leave Manchester United this summer. He's been subjected to a lot of transfer speculation, especially throughout the course of this season. Don't forget, Rashford's contract expires next year. Uh, the other week, though, it said Man United want Marcus Rashford to stay at the club despite his wretched run of form. Earlier on this season, Rashford told his friends he wants to quit Man United. Fabrizio Romano said earlier on this season that Marcus Rashford was considering his future with Man United over his lack of game time. Rashford is a good player overall, but he hasn't been the same player since he had that problem with his shoulder. He missed the first two months, was it, of this season with that shoulder problem earlier on this season, had a minor leg injury. Rashford has been part of the club for a long time, came up our academy in that. He's been a United player since the age of seven and he broke into our senior squad back in 2016. So he's been in our senior squad for around, what, five and a half, six years or something like that. You can put Rashford on the left, you can put him on the right and you can play him up top. We seem to get the best out of Rashford when he plays on that left-hand side. I don't think he's too good playing centrally. Uh, Ronaldo, um, he could be leaving Man United this summer. Uh, don't forget Ten Hag said that Ronaldo will not be part of his plans for next season. Uh, don't forget Ronaldo's contract at Man United expires next year. There is an option of a further year. Ronaldo is the highest earner at Man United. He receives around £500,000 a week. And Man United re-signed Ronaldo last summer for £20 million with add-ons included. He wears a number 7 shirt. Ronaldo... He's the best player in the world overall. He's won over 30 trophies in his playing career, including five Ballon d'Ors. Ronaldo missed the game against Liverpool recently uh, because Ronaldo announced that his baby son had passed away. You know, it's very, very sad. You know, before the game kicked off at Anfield, there was a seven-minute applause you know, for Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, don't forget, Ronaldo did get a hat-trick in the 3-2 win against Norwich the other week. That was his 60th hat-trick in his career, and it was his second hat-trick then in three league games. Ronaldo has 21 goals in all competitions since he re-signed. He's got over 800 goals in his career. Uh, Matic... Well, you know the news on him. Um, the other week, Matic announced he will be leaving Manchester United this summer, despite having 12 months left on his contract. Matic isn't one of Man United's first choice midfielders, but despite that, he's still being given his opportunities. He's the only predominant centre defensive midfielder Man United have got at the moment. Uh, Man United got Matic from Chelsea back in 2017 for 40 million. Matic has been at Man United for over four years. Pogba um, looks like he's leaving this summer. It recently said that it's increasingly likely that Pogba will be leaving this summer. Uh, Pogba's representatives have spoke to Real Madrid and Juventus. Uh, PSG have been heavily linked with Pogba. Earlier on this season, the Manchester Evening News said that. 
PSG made an offer to Pogba and Pogba opened talks with PSG. Well, the Man United dressing room believe Pogba has gone. And earlier on this season, Rooney backed him to leave. Rooney also backed Ronaldo to leave. Uh, Pogba's now got another injury. Um, he came off injured in the first half in the 4-0 defeat to Liverpool. Had to be replaced by Lingard. Pogba was out with injury for a while earlier on this season. He's injury prone because he's had quite a lot of injuries since he re-signed for the club. Pogba's a good player when he wants to be and... You know, he's an imperative player. This season has been his sixth season at Man United since he re-signed. He's won three trophies at the club so far. He's played over 200 games since he re-signed. Pogba's Man United's most expensive sign at the moment. Manchester United paid £89 million for him. We had Pogba when he was a lot younger under the Ferguson era, but I had to let him go due to limited appearances. Uh, Phil Jones, um, do you think he'll leave Man United this summer? Well, Jones' contract expires next year. Jones obviously isn't one of our first choice centre-halves, doesn't get in the team. Jones did start, though, in the game against Liverpool recently. That was his second Premier League start. Since January 2020. Jones of course played in the 1-0 defeat to Wolves at Old Trafford earlier on this season. He was our best player in that game. This season has been Jones' 11th season at Man United. So reflecting on that he's been a long serving player. Eric Bailly. Um, I think he could be leaving this summer. Because he doesn't really get in the team now. Does he buy a good centre half. But he's injury prone. Um, Harry Maguire, I think there's a good chance we'll be offloading him this summer. You know, he's not good enough. You know, Maguire again was poor against Liverpool. Uh, by the way, Maguire has recently received a bomb threat at his home. Obviously, the police have got involved. I don't know how Maguire is still Man United captain. He's not a leader. A lot of United fans have been demanding for the captaincy to be taken off Maguire, especially throughout the course of this season. Man United overpaid for Maguire, got him for £80 million. He's the most expensive centre-half in the world at the moment and he's the second most expensive signing at the club. He's been at Man United for over two years, Maguire, and he's had quite a few injuries since he came. And Wan Bissaka, you know, I think he could be going this summer as well. He's not good enough. He's good defensively, but the attacking side of his game is poor. Bissaka did play against Liverpool recently, was poor. Um, he's not appeared to be our first choice right back under Rangnick. Delors being our first choice right back under Rangnick. Uh, Dean Henderson, I reckon he'll be going this summer. Henderson is our second choice keeper, doesn't get in goal much. He's only made three appearances this season. Lee Grant, I think he'll also be going this summer as well. And next year, uh, players will leave. We've got quite a lot of players' contracts that do expire next year. So anyway, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always. And take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon.